Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? I'm actually going to be doing uh, something that I feel like started my YouTube channel, which is a what's in my bag video. I love doing those. I like doing them seasonal or when I get a new bag. And I recently purchased this bag right here for the springtime. It has like a linen bottom to it and it has the white leather. This is a very soft buttery leather it has like really cute cutouts all over it um, you can carry it this away or there also is a longer strap that you can use it um, for like a messenger bag where you put it across the body maybe you're going somewhere where you want to make sure that you have this on really good where it's not going to leave your side and then it also came with a really cute leather makeup bag. So this all was included. I got it from a place called Sand and Charcoal. And I've actually ordered a ton of stuff from there. They have jewelry. They have shoes. I bought a bunch of new spring clothing from them. I bought this new spring leather bag from them. I will link them down below in the description box. I'll also link this bag. There's only a few left. So if you're interested, you better jump on it because uh, once they sell out, it takes a while for them to restock. So this bag is adorable. I think it's $85. And yeah, so I'll link it down below. I'll link their website down below. They're very active on Instagram, so follow them on Instagram. Um, but I really love this bag. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you. It does have a magnetic closure like that to keep your stuff from falling out and this is what the bag looks like from like a wider angle like I said I love the white for spring I love the linen for spring I think it's a really cute I, I mean it's just buttery soft I love that about it and I got something on it the other day and it just wiped right off which I thought was amazing i was very excited about that so i love everything about it so far the inside of it is very soft as well it is like this very soft leather um it has gold hardware on it and i just love it like i said it comes with a makeup bag as well i do have makeup in it when i carry your handbag i'm going to show you this of course is a what's in my spring handbag or what's in my spring purse my new spring purse what i don't know what i'm going to title it but i always carry a makeup bag in my purse no matter what season it is and i don't throw like everything in it because when i'm on the go if i'm at a restaurant and i just get through eating um of course we'll have our masks off and stuff like that after we get through eating and i will just use or i'll go to the bathroom and touch up so basically the stuff i carry in my makeup bag are touch up makeup so i'm going to show you what i have in here and then we're just going to go through what else i have in here there's no pockets in here it's basically kind of like a bucket style handbag or a bucket style purse I'll, let me show you if i can set that down so it's basically just a bucket style handbag so there's no pockets or anything like that in here you just throw everything in here again it does have the magnetic closure and you can carry it this way or with the long strap the strap is adjustable by the way it is adjustable and you can also remove the straps with the gold um, hardware so let's go ahead and let me show you what I have in my makeup bag. Like I said, these are just for touch-ups basically. So in this bag is also leather and it has a very buttery inside and outside. It's very soft and supple. My dog's party. So inside I have one of my favorite new lip treatments. This is LYS Beauty, which stands for Love Yourself and this is a lip treatment it's very nourishing i love this a lot so anytime my lips get really dry i just put a little bit on here and i love keeping it doesn't have to be this particular one 
I also have an e.l.f. one somewhere. I don't know where I put it, but I usually keep at least one lip balm in my purse or in my makeup. I will have a brush and a powder in my bag. Since this is the stuff I have in rotation right now as far as shop my stash, that is the stuff that's in my bag. So this is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. Does not have a mirror. It's the only thing I wish had a mirror. I like to keep a mirror in my makeup bag. So if I'm like at a restaurant, I'm just trying to touch up. Um, and I just want to kind of go around my nose where I'm oiling my T-zone or something like that. Then I like having like a really small brush. Won't take up a lot of space. And a powder. So I do have those products. This right here, if you're curious. This is from Amazon. It comes with like a whole bunch of different brushes. They were like under 10 bucks. So I will try to link that as well. I'll link the bag. I'll link sanded charcoal. And I will leak. Leak? No, link. Try to link the makeup brush. Um, usually, like I said, I will carry a little mirror with me. This was the Fenty, Fenty Beauty highlighter, but mine broke. So, it's just a little mirror. I had a Sephora mirror, but I don't know what I did with it. So, if I if I have like a powder like this without a mirror, or if I'm not carrying anything else, I'll just throw like a mirror in my tan bag. So, that's that. Um, and then for lips, I always carry whatever lipstick I'm wearing that day. I will put that in my purse so I can touch up. So, today I'm actually wearing the Persona liquid lipsticks in this one is in the color phoenix and that's the color that i'm wearing it is a liquid lipstick so i would just throw this in my bag for touch-ups and that is everything that i would need for the day as far as touch-ups so i would have a makeup brush a lipstick a powder uh something for my chopped lips and a mirror and that would be everything i would have in a makeup bag so that is that all right the next thing of course i would have a phone my phone is not in my purse at the moment but i would definitely have a phone um this is an apple phone my husband bought me this cover i just absolutely love it i love anything glittery and sparkly so and then on the cover of my phone i actually have a picture of my son harrison and my grandfather that recently passed away so that is on my phone at the moment. Um, okay, so let's dig in and see what else I have in here. I always carry hand sanitizer obvious for obvious reasons, but I did find a new one that I love. So I'm thinking about picking this up for my grandmother because she suffers from dry skin and she's always trying to use lots of sand. Um, hand sanitizer. I think this would be amazing for her. So this is by the brand Vaseline. It's clinical care hand sanitizer plus lotion so it's a two-in-one and it really makes your skin soft like lotion but it sanitizes it as well so it's a hand sanitizer plus lotion so i really feel like this is something great to just keep in your purse so your hands won't get super super dry but you are using a hand sanitizer and also like i said i'm thinking about picking up one for my grandmother i got this from target it smells really nice. It doesn't have like a smell to it, but what I'm saying is it doesn't smell like alcohol like most hand sanitizers smell like. And you get a, a big tube of this. So, and I don't know, it was really cheap. So this is five fluid ounces of lotion slash hand sanitizer. So highly recommend that if you can find it. I got mine at Target, like I said. I also carry gum. This is my favorite gum of all time. So every time I run out, I have to go to CVS, Target, and pick, pick up more. This is the Ice Breakers Ice Cubes. Peppermint is the only one I like. Peppermint gum. And it's in these cubes. And I like to get this large pack. I keep it by either in my purse or beside my bed. And the reason why I like to keep it beside my bed, it's really good for acid reflux or heartburn. Like if I'm laying in bed and I just feel like some acid coming up, I'll chew a couple of these peppermints, gum, and it just kind of helps a little bit. So I'll keep it in my purse in case I have it, or I'll keep it by my bedside. So I really love these. I repurchase these all the time. So highly recommend these. They're delicious. Plus it keeps your breath fresh. 
Um, okay, I also have my glasses. You guys know that, like, I'm blind. I need to go get my prescription refilled or what do you call it? I don't know. I need to get it updated. I don't know what you call it. But these I've had for years. I want to say at least six years. They're very expensive. They were like close to $1,000 because they're Tom Ford. Um, and I don't plan on getting a new pair because I'm obsessed with these. They have navy and gold. And then on the side, they have this really dark uh, brown, like a tortoise color. And I love that they're kind of like a cat eye, but not too cat eye so they give me like a little bit of a vintage vibe and you guys know like i'm totally about that vintage vibe um especially with my little tie and my red lips and this i think it's adorable so i have had these for a while but i feel like the older i get the worse my vision is so i have to go get them i don't know what do you call it updated i don't know what you call it i gotta go to the doctor that's all i'm saying so I keep these. I lost the case and I really don't want anything to happen to these because they're so expensive and I don't know what I would do if I had to repurchase these glasses. First of all, I've tried to find them and I can't find them. So I would probably have to find a new pair um, from Tom Ford, but I don't think these are available anymore. They, like I said, I've had them for six years, maybe longer. Um, so love those. Also, I have some masks in here. These are the ones my mother picked up for me. Um, so, I have two Michael Kors ones. What, look like this. Um, Michael Kors. And it has the... Looks like this when you put it on. So, I have a Michael Kors one. I also have this Michael Kors one. Um, which I like a little bit better because it's not so like in your face it has an mk there but it's not like too crazy so i have that one again that one has it all over it and this one just has it in one spot i also have a coach one my mother picked up for me looks like this so let's see which way it goes like this so i have the coach one as well and then, so these are the ones at the moment I have. I do rotate my masks because I wash them. And so I have tons and tons and tons. I don't like the paper ones. I like the cloth ones because I can rewash them and keep them clean. So I always try to carry at least three or four in my bag because one of my kids will be like, I forgot my mask. And so I'm like, here, use this one. And if they wanted to use this one, you can turn this inside out so you don't see the label on here and it just looks like a black mask so i will let my kids use these if they forget theirs so always have masks in my bag so those are those the next thing i have in my bag is my wallet i have a knockoff um louis vuitton the checkered one I bought this from Amazon. I'll try to link it if I can find it. Um, I also have a little, um, it's kind of like a little makeup bag I bought as well. And it came with my handbag. They all match. Uh, like I said, they're from, I, th I think you can get them from Amazon, but you can also get them from Walmart.com. And um, I'm trying to remember the brand. It's like Daisy something. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll try to link it if I can find it. But so I have a ton of credit cards in here. My Sephora Rouge card. I always have to keep that with me. You never know when you're going to go to Sephora. Um, I have some little sticky notes for like doctor's appointments um, because I'm always forgetting about doctor's appointments. <laughs> um, I have my driver's license in here. Um, I have a Starbucks gift card for $5 in here. Um, like I said, I have credit cards. I'm not going to show those. Um, I use credit cards more than I use cash. I don't think I have any cash in here whatsoever. Um, my grandmother gave me, well, actually gave my son that. She found it in my grandfather's stuff. So, that's for Harrison. What else is in here? More credit cards. 
Um, doctors, I have a doctor's uh, appointment coming up that I have in here. A bunch of receipts and a bunch of change. Here's all my change. Just keep it on the side zipper parts. And then I have some receipts. So let's see what I've where I've been shopping. Okay, so this is actually a receipt from Christmas because I bought my husband a shirt and it was too small for him. So I kept the receipt, but he's been losing a lot of weight lately. So he might can wear it now, I'm not sure. But I kept the receipt. And this is also, what is this from? Same place. So there's two receipts from the, it's like an Alabama store that you can get really cute Alabama shirts. Uh, they have men's, women's, children's, whatever. But so I still have those receipts. I could probably throw them away now. And did I zip that up? Yeah. So there's like a button part here, and then a button here, and then the two zippers on the side. Um, but yeah. So that's my wallet. Mostly, like I said, I have change and credit cards, no cash. Um, and then what else do I have in here? I have my keys in here. I collect keychains. Uh, this one is so old. Um, my friend Kelly here, um, one of my subscribers, Kelly, um, Kelly Lindsay sent me this like long ass time ago, and all the stones have come off of it, but I still keep it. I like I keep everything. So I have this from like Halloween, some hand sanitizer. I forgot who gave me that cross. Um, I got this when I was in Nashville. It says Draper James. Um, I got this from someplace, I don't know, in the mountains. Can't see what that says. This is a Harry Potter keychain. This one is um, the Deadly Hollows. Um, oh, my mom, I think my mom gave me this, or somebody gave me this. It's a knife. It looks like a key, but it's like a knife. Um, and then, what else? I have my key on, I have two keys on here. That's about it. So, just a bunch of keys, keychain stuff. Um, and last but not least, I have perfume in here. So right now, I put some spring perfumes in here. They're from Target. They're very affordable. They're by the brand Good Chemistry. So I have this one in here, which is a rollerball. This one's called Firecracker, and it smells so good, you guys. Like everybody, I recommend this to say that they absolute love this one firecracker i have this one all these are by good chemistry from target um this one is tiger lily this one smells very spring oh my gosh it smells so spring and summer and it smells very girly so if you're looking for a very girly perfume check out target's a uh, collection of good chemistry perfume you can get online too and this one is in tiger lily it smells very girly for spring and summer this one is again good chemistry it's called queen bee this one smells like spring and summer to me as well i love the packaging of this one as well and this one has a little bit more of a very clean citrus type of smell smells like it and all these together like you can't you can't lose so these are great just throw my purse for the springtime so I can I like to smell good obviously hand sanitizer all this stuff so I just want to show you my new bag I'll link it try to link as much as possible for you guys hope you enjoyed this what's in my new spring bag video if you have any questions about any of this stuff ask me I'll be happy to chat with you guys hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time Bye.